Can you hear me? Yes. I'm here today because I believe the breakthrough initiatives are critically important. To understand the universe, you must know about atoms, about the forces that bind them, the contours of space and time, the birth and death of stars, the dance of galaxies, the secrets of black holes. But that is not enough. These ideas cannot explain everything. They can explain the light of stars, but not the lights that shine from planet Earth. To understand these lights, you must know about life, about minds. We believe that life arose spontaneously on Earth. So in an infinite universe, there must be other occurrences of life. Somewhere in the cosmos, perhaps, intelligent life may be watching these lights of ours, aware of what they mean. Or do our lights wander a lifeless cosmos? Unseen beacons, announcing that here, on one rock, the universe discovered its existence. Either way, there is no bigger question. It's time to commit to finding the answer to search for life beyond Earth. The breakthrough initiatives are making that commitment. We are alive, we are intelligent, we must know. Experimental astronomy is always worthwhile. If a search of this scale and sophistication finds no evidence of intelligence out there, that is a very interesting result. It will not prove that we are alone, but it will narrow the possibilities, and it's likely to produce data that is fascinating in its own right. Lots of time on major telescopes around the world. A huge data capacity. And a long-term commitment that is not at risk of being withdrawn. Mankind has a deep need to explore, to learn, to know. We also happen to be sociable creatures. It is important to us to know if we are alone in the dark. Beyond that, as I said in my presentation, it is a deep question about the universe. A universe full of technological civilizations is a very different place from one with only us perhaps even different at astronomical scales. That makes it astronomy's job to find out. They might be there, they might not. But recent experiments like the Kepler mission have changed the game. We now know there are so many worlds, and organic molecules are so common, that it seems quite likely that life is out there. But intelligence is a great unknown. It only took 500 million years for life to evolve on Earth, but it took two and a half billion years to get from the earliest cells to multi-cell animals. And technological intelligence has appeared only once. So it may be very rare. And when it does evolve, we only need to look in the mirror to know that it can be fragile and prone to self-destruction. We don't know much about aliens, but we know about humans. <laughs> if you look at history, encounters between humans and less intelligent organisms have often been disastrous from their point of view. And encounters between civilizations with advanced versus primitive technology have gone badly for the less advanced. A civilization reading one of our messages could be billions of years ahead. If so, they will be vastly more powerful and may not see us as any more valuable than we see bacteria. <laughs>